What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. Welcome to my top 10 one-handed war axes that you can craft. Now in crafting these, I did choose to go with the epic flawless version, should that be available. Many of them do not have that option, and we'll get into that a little bit later on in the video. In addition to telling you which ones are the best, I'm also going to tell you where to obtain the recipes or how you learn them. Something that I want to make clear before we get into the list is that all of these weapons do stack, cripple, and bleed negative effects on your target. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. Coming in at number 10 is the Hardened Steel War Axe. It has a damage value of 46, armor pen of 0, and it is learned in your feats at level 56. Sliding in to number 9 is the Serpent Man War Axe with 48 damage and 0 armor pen. Now this particular item is learned in the volcano. You have to climb to the top of the Well of Skelos and interact with a tablet there to learn all the Serpent Man weapons. You actually learn quite a few Serpent Man weapons when you're up there. So no matter whether you're a completionist or you just want to run around with some Serpent Man weapons, it's definitely recommended to get down there and learn these recipes. Popping off at the number 8 spot is the Kari War Axe. Damage of 49, 0 armor pen. It has bonuses in survival and vitality. And a fun fact about the Kari weaponry is that they are the only craftable weapons in the game currently that add a bonus to your attributes. Now in order to learn this recipe, you will have to defeat the final boss in the Wine Cellar Dungeon. He will drop a random scroll, and in that scroll you may find the one that you need, which is the Kari Weapons. You also need to be level 60 in order to craft these. Lucky number 7 happens to be the Acheronian War Axe with a damage of 51 and armor pen of 0. However, you'll probably end up being lucky if you ever decide to actually craft this item because it doesn't unlock until level 60. And there are a lot other really, really good axes out there which you'll probably put your time and effort into obtaining. And I feel like this one doesn't get any love because there are so many other great weapons that you can unlock and craft at level 60 that this one just falls short. Coming in at number 6 is the Battle Spatula with 51 damage and 0 armor pen. Now this is learned in the unnamed city, so you are going to have to trade in your fragments of power to the Library of Esoteric Artifacts in order to get the recipe. Then you need an additional fragment of power in order to craft this guy. Now it is super cool if you want to run around and act like a deadly cook all around the exiled lands, and it is a decent weapon. However, it is quite expensive to craft since it requires two fragments of power, one to buy the recipe and then one to craft it. You also have to be level 60 in order to craft this weapon. Coming in at number 5 is all the DLC Epic Flawless War Axes. Now they come in with 51 damage and 0% armor pen. Now remember you do have to be level 60 in order to craft all of these, so it makes sense to slide them in to this slot. They're middle of the pack for end of game craftable war axes and they're pretty decent. Honestly, quite a few of them look pretty good as well. Now I know some people might say, well this is pay to win, and I want to know where you stand on that fact, whether the DLC War Axes should end up middle of the road like they have, and is that pay to win, or should they be worse than the things that you can get in the vanilla game? And if they should be worse, what is the point in buying the DLC? I think sliding them right into the middle of the pack makes sense, but I could be wrong. You let me know in the comment section below. Coming in at number 4, we have the Ancient Lemurian War Axe with a damage of 51 and armor pen of 13. Now this is the only War Axe that you can craft that's actually going to have armor pen on it. Additionally, you have to get this particular item in the Sunken City. Now you do have to be level 60 to craft this, but the addition of the armor pen is actually really nice since it does more damage to heavily armored targets. Now before we move into the top 3, I want to ask that you whack the like button. Once we hit 250 likes on this video, I'll post my top 10 legendary one-handed axes video. 
Coming in at number 3, we have the Dragon Bone Axe at 54 damage and 0% armor pen. You can learn this in the sinkhole. While you're down there, you should definitely kill the undead dragon and get some Dragon Bone from him since it's required for this recipe. Additionally, you will need short handles, so you do have to be level 60 in order to make this particular weapon, unless you can find somebody kind enough on your server to make you some handles early. Sliding into number two is the Foe Shatter, and this does 54 damage, zero armor pen, and it is learned and crafted on the third tier altar for Emir. Now I struggled with this one, deciding whether to put this in the first spot or the second spot. However, when I get into the first, you'll understand why I put it here. But the interesting thing about this particular war axe is as long as you can get your hands on star metal, you do not need to be any level in order to craft this bad boy. So this is the one that I say go for, get early. As long as you know Emir, you can craft this at any level as long as you have a tier 3 altar and you have the star metal required to make it. And the moment you've all been waiting for, my number one pick is the Venom Infused War Axe, 41 damage, zero armor pen. This is also learned in the Unnamed City and is going to cost you a couple of fragments of power. However, the reason why this one takes the number one spot is because it stacks poison consistently on every hit, up to a total of 10 poison and when you have a total of 10 poison on any living target you are doing 630 points of damage every 10 seconds that's right it is 63 points of damage every second now there is a couple of downsides to this weapon the one downside is obviously the very low initial damage point at 41 it's actually one of the lowest that i've showcased today however the stacking of the poison makes up for all that damage and then some. The other negative that you're going to have with the Venom Infused War Axe is the fact that the durability on this guy is abysmally low, holding a durability of only 810. And its repair cost is pretty expensive. It requires 15 star metal and one fragment of power, or you're going to have to use a legendary repair kit on it. Unless you hand it to your Thrall because your Thrall does not use durability on your weapons. Now that's all I have for this video, but the fun doesn't have to end here. There's a couple of other videos coming up on the screen. Pick one of those to watch next. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video.